That's the press conference in March of 2009 where Michael Jackson announced his London shows. He died three months later. This is it was not only the name for Michael Jackson's London concerts, but now it's also the title of a book by his personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, who is trying to rehabilitate his name following his conviction of causing Michael's death by providing him with an overdose of the powerful anesthetic propofol. And Alex, you have the story. Yeah, Liz Murray served nearly two years of a four-year sentence for involuntary manslaughter. And now in this new interview, he makes startling new claims about Michael's private world. I do not spare myself. I am not a perfect man, neither is Michael. This is about the story of Conrad Murray, his entanglement with Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson, a friend who said to him one day that, and gave the most chilling statement to me, Conrad, do you know that your life and my life will become inseparable for the rest of time? That was chilling. But what do you mean by that? He chuckled, smiled a little bit, relaxed, and engaged me again. And he says, because I am clairvoyant, you'll see. Murray details Michael's final days and his unique use of medications dating back to when Michael was 13. And according to what Murray claims Michael told him, he was given injections to stunt his growth in an effort to maintain his high vocal register. To Michael's later, Michael's words, he was chemically castrated. And Murray also lays down this claim directed at Michael's dermatologist, the late Dr. Arnold Klein. Arnold Klein had shut down his entire sweat glands system. He wanted Michael not to sweat as much because Michael lost lots lost of weight whenever he danced. He, he was, his weight would go down by five or six pounds. But, but he did that all day. But Michael did not like sweating that much and Arnold Klein used Botox to shut down his sweat glands. Murray hopes fans of Michael will enjoy reading the King of Pop's playful side in the outrageous ways Michael would disguise himself in public. Hear him chuckle, hear him giggling, walking like a stroke victim drooling on the side of his mouth. Uh, you know, a uh, 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 helpless, uh, kind of lunatic in a way. Um, but cheerful. I gave him freedom, I gave him joy. I allowed him to release, go through all the bundle of the, the years of misery. But I can tell you, he left me a heavy load because I had to carry that burden. A burden, but also a blessing for Dr. Murray. Treating Michael did have a special perk. I can tell you what I do miss. One thing I miss about Michael that I took for granted while he was alive is my morning concerts. Every morning he sang to me after he woke up and practiced his notes. So he had the voice of an angel. As for Murray's claim that Michael said he was, quote, chemically castrated when he was a child, we reached out to Michael's parents, Joe and Katherine Jackson, and so far we have not heard back. Oh, thanks, Alex. All right. It's hard to believe it's been seven years.